Hello students, welcome to the next lecture on differential equation. Today we will discuss the second method called as the linear differential equation which is related to the first order, first degree equation. You might heard about this uh, differential equation is there but how you can solve this, what are the special properties in that we will see in this lecture. Myself Dr. Gar, you can simply follow my YouTube channel Dr. Harish Gar, where you can find the various videos on the mathematics. What we have discussed so far, we will see what is the first order and the first degree. It is a very special kind of the first, very, very special kind of the differential equation, which is represented in the form of here, or you can write in this form. Clearly says that if I write this form in this, in this dy by dx minus mxy over nx comma y. And if I call this function, because this is the function of the x and y, so I call it as another function that is fxy, which is the same nature. So how you can solve this, how you can find the solution of this differential equation? That, that's depending upon the nature of this fx, whether it's a linear, whether it's a nonlinear, or whether it's a composite nature are there. So then we will find the uh, solution of this differential equation. So there are several methods. Uh, you can apply variable separable method, homogeneous linear differential exact or integrating factor to solve either of these differential equation. This method we already discussed in our last lecture. Now in this lecture we will firstly discuss the linear differential equation and then in the next lecture we will see about the homogeneous method. So look at this, if I consider these two differential equation whether they are linear or not. How you can say any of the differential equation is said to be linear? When how you, when you can say that any of the first order differential equation is said to be linear, when is either of these two form? What is the meaning of that? You can see this is the x, it means this is my independent variable. This is y, this is called as my dependent variable and reverse for here. This is my dependent variable and this is y is my independent variable. The only difference here is there is a multiplication of the dependent and there is a multiplication of the independent. Dependent are in this case, you have to consider the two constants P and Q which must be or a function of the X only. It means they are, the, it does not involve any value of the Y. And make sure that the coefficient of the dy by dx must be 1. Similarly for here. What is the axis? This is my independent variable. In this case, what is the independent variable is Y. So P and Q are the functions of the Y only make sure the coefficient should be 1. The once you can identify it, let's see this one. If you look about that cos of x is not a linear function. In this case, it is a y. So it means in this case, can you write this differential equation in this form? This is the coefficient. This is called as a p, which is a function of the x or as a constant, but it should not involve the y. And similarly, this is the function of the x only. So it is my q. Similarly, if you write this equation like this way, it is a function of the x. In this case, what is the coefficient of the axis? This is a y. So p is a dx upon dy and q is a function of the y only. Is, if I write this function as dy by dx plus 2y is equal to 3, again this is my p because this is the constant function but it should be independent of the y. Any of the functions are there and this is my q. Once you will identify that it is a linear differential equation, then the question arises is how you can solve the differential equation. So I will tell you the two different ways as the similar are there but make sure that I again repeat the coefficient of the dy by dx is 1 in this case and also in here. Whenever you write in this form you have to find the value of the p and then find the value of q. Find this integrating factor exponential integration of this coefficient p dx and once you find the integrating factor remember this is my independent variable independent variable is my dx. Then the required solution is my y because y is my dependent into whatever the find is there integration of this q of integrating factor where c is the arbitrary constant. The same way we can solve like this way the only thing is this y is my independent variable so you can write here as a dy. Integration in this case is with respect to dy here is a x. Now you have to find this is x is my dependent variable so you have to write here as a x. Now the major question arises is how you can identify that whether this method is applicable or this method is applicable. How you choose them? That's again a very simple I will tell you. Look at these two examples. In this example firstly you have to find check whether 
this form will be applicable or this form will be applicable how you can find that the one way is you can simplify it and then we will check it but there is no need of this look at this function which one is a linear so you can see the degree of y is my linear because the y degree is my one that's a linear it means it is written in this form in this case you can see the degree of the x is my one so in this case you have to write this function as in this form clearly says that this is my y cube which is a non-linear so you can't write in this form so from here you can firstly write in this form you can find the value of the dy by dx coefficient need to be one so i have to divide by x cos x on the both side now this is my p this is my q now once you find that it's a linear then these two steps are applicable what is the integrating factor is e raised to power 10x plus 1 by x so what is the integration of the 10x integration of 10x is minus of log cos x what is the integration of the 1 by x is it's a log x that's fine so once you will see here you can find the integration this again you can simplify them you can see if i take log of x divided by cos x and e raised to power x is nothing but x of cos x that is my is the integrating factor now therefore the solution will be i can substitute here if is my integrating factor is here this is the dependent in y y this is my q this is my q and so on now you can see x will be cancelled out this is my y x over cos x what is that this is nothing but my secant square x and you all know that what is the integration of the secant square x this is tan of x so that is the required solution of this sol of this differential equation as i told you this is a linear in y so you have to write in terms of the dx upon dy so what is the p coefficient of the x minus 1 over y coefficient what is the q is 2y square which is independent of the dependent variable clearly say that which is independent of the dependent variable in this example what is the dependent variable is x so p and k are independent of the x so we can apply the integrating factor now this is in terms of the y so this is minus 1 over y so which is e raised to power minus log y which is y raised to power minus 1 that is 1 over y now we can find the solution that is what is the solution is x of if this is q this is my q this is of this so what is the answer of this this is one is cancelled it's a 2y integration is my y square plus c is the required answer look about this one again you can see that tan inverse and the y square is a non-linear it is only linear in x so you have to find the value of dy dx upon dy plus px is equal to k which is linear in here so you can try it what is the p p is my coefficient of dx that is my here and which is a linear form so you can write here since p and q are independent of the dependent variable x therefore this equation is my linear once this is a linear then you can find the integrating factor of this what is the integration of this tan inverse x then you can find the solution that is the x of integrating factor this is my q and so on how you can solve that how you can solve this integration if i consider tan inverse of y as my say z then what is the integration of this this is a 1 plus y square dy is my dz so i can substitute here this is my here this is my z this is my e raised to power z and 1 upon this is my here. how you can solve this integration this is a by product rule this minus first derivative and here plus of c so what is that this is again e raised to power z i can written like of here and this is my x e raised to power tan inverse y i can substitute the value of the z here you will get the right answer of this problem in this case you can see this is the y square which is not a linear so but here is a linear but it's a y cube also this is only x which is a linear form so you have to write in terms of dy over dx how you can solve them i can take it as a separate i can make as a coefficient of the x this is 1 plus y square divided by y plus y cube and the rest part is plus 1 so i can take on the right hand side minus 1 over here i can take y as a common and it will be cancelled out it will be y so x over y is it. what is my p p is my 1 over y 
k u is my here which is both are my independent of the x so therefore this is my linear differential equation once it is a linear differential equation now you can apply this integrating factor so what is the solution of this so x integrating factor what is the q that's the right hand side that's the minus y 1 plus y square of y plus c now you can see this y will be cancel out this y is cancel out so what is the integration of this that is a tan inverse y plus c x y is the right answer of this problem make sure that the coefficient of the dx upon dy in the linear is always be a 1 look about this one so here this is x square so it means dx over dy plus px is equal to q it can never be worth it is a y is a linear y is a linear and nothing is there so it means you have to write this equation in the form of here so you can write it firstly you can take divided both side by x dx so it will be dy over dx plus 2x square minus 1 i can take as a y as a common from here minus ax cube is equal to 0 make the coefficient to be a 1 it should be a 1 so i can divide both side by here which is written like here what is the p this is the independent of the y this is independent of y so which is a linear form once it's a linear you have to integrate that what is the integration of p of dx can you integrate them how you integrate them here so in this case you have to use the partial fraction how you integrate the partial fraction the one way is you can take here as a, a b c and then you can multiply them but there is no need of them there is a one another way what is the what is the method is in this case you can put x is equal to 0 substitute x is equal to 0 everywhere apart from this term which term is here so what is the answer is 2 of 0 minus 1 divided by 1 minus 0 fine so i can return for you here this value will be my 2 of 0 square minus 1 1 minus 0 square what is the answer is minus 1 so this is my minus 1 look at that if i take this as a 0 so x is my minus 1 you can substitute here everywhere so i can return this part as 1 minus x 1 plus x so x is equal to minus 1 this part will goes to the infinity so i can substitute everywhere here so what is the answer is 2 of minus 1 square minus 1 1 plus 1 so what is that this is a 1 this is my minus 2 so the answer is minus half in this case x is my plus 1 so i can substitute x is equal to plus 1 in this case so what is the answer is 2 minus 1 plus 1 and plus 1 is my here so that is my plus 1 by 2 so the answer is my minus 1 minus half minus plus 1 now now you can take the integration of this what is the integration of here you can find this part firstly what is that this is minus of log x minus half outside it's a log of 1 plus x plus half is outside log of 1 minus x divided by minus 1 now you can take minus half as a common you can take as a pair of this so therefore what is the value of this so e raised to power minus log of this so it will give you answer of x 1 minus of minus 1 that is my i i can substitute this if in this formula you will get it as here. how you can integrate them so 1x will be cancelled out so a is my constant which is outside so it is x 1 minus x square raised to power 3 by 2 that's fine now how you can solve this that's a very simple i can take 1 minus x square is a t then it is a minus of 2x dx is my dt so i can multiply this by minus 2 divided by minus 2 so it will be my a over minus 2 this is my dt this is my t raised to power 3 by 2 plus dt of c what is that this is minus 3 by 2 plus 1 minus 3 by 2 plus 1 is the right answer after that i can substitute the value of the small t as 1 minus x square which is the required answer look about this one so clearly says that this is the x square so it means this is not linear in x so you can't write this form again it is a y square so again you can see you can't write in this form 
so what is the meaning of that this equation is not linear so once it is not a linear then this linear differential equation method is not applicable but how you can find the solution of this again you can see the variable separable method is again not applicable that we discussed in our last lecture again this is not applicable so how you can solve this one so that for that we will try to learn the new method called as the homogeneous method in our next lecture till then you can simply try to solve these six questions and let me know your answers in the comment box you can verify your answers with this here and see whether you will be able to get the right answers in a proper time I hope you can simply learn this one. We will see your next lecture on the homogeneous differential equations. Till then, you can simply like, share and comment by these videos with your friends. Best of luck students. Happy learning.